Hi guys, we Joy here with another product to review. So this time I'm going to show uh, this Thule EasyFold XT bike rack platform. Uh, I maybe you saw my other video. I recently bought e-bike, pet bike, pet tire with, uh, which is my old rack bike rack. It's hanging from here, and it's not. It cannot heavy. It cannot carry that much heavy products. My old bike, which is is regular mountain bike, it's okay. But my e bike is heavy, and the tires are fat bike. So this is why I was looking for new bike rack, and what I wanted. They don't sell. Them here in the United States, unfortunately. Uh, one brand is Buzzrack, which is they sell here, but what I want, they don't sell that models in the United States. I don't know why. I wanted to bike back with the with lights, brake and turn signal lights, because it's important for me at least. When you put the rack and the bike here, they cannot the other drivers they cannot see the lights easily because of the bike they are blocking the view so i wanted to get the rack with the light but only option was too late to buy it but the price is very high it's like a 1300 come on man the bus rack has a scorpion pro 2 which is i found it in spain it's 380 dollars with lights you know I wanted to get it, but shipping is like $600, it was going to cost $900, and I just gave up. And I found another European brand, which is Oilfab. I wanted to get it, but they don't sell it here, it's all in Europe. So, and I thought I can get regular rack and I can put some lights behind it. I will show it later. So, I bought this from eBay, it was open box, because regular price is almost again high, but with open box I almost saved like $200, something. So, let's open it, I'm gonna open the boxes, install it, and show it to you. So, there is a bunch of uh, videos about this too, but everybody has different opinions. So when I talked to them when I bought this, they told me the box is just open. I wasn't expecting the original boxes, you know, but thanks, I got the original boxes, which is not that important. So package nice. So this is easy to carry. There's a handle. This is also European. I don't know why they don't sell the others here. Why just only two left? Okay, instructions. License plate installation in case if you need. Keys. Instruction. And safety. Okay here key is here nothing else is here so first of all it's very compact you can see m511 this is my car and it has a wheel on it you know easily you can just move around if you want it's up to you, you no know, or you can just Take it like this. So it carries two bikes. This is the connection. Uh, I guess keys were here. By the way, it's too hot today. It's too humid. So let's learn this.
Okay, easy to install, I believe. Okay, when you connect, this will go inside the hole. Okay, there's a lot. And let me show closely. This goes there to the hole. So with this, you're gonna tight and make it steady. I'm not sure it's moving or not. Let me see. Let me test it. Okay, I was doing wrong. I believe. Or... Now, yes, sorry, it was locked. Now, it tightened up. Let me see. Okay, it's not coming. When you lock this, it's just gonna spin freely. Okay. Is okay. So is here. Hey, okay. It's a little high. You know, it's not easy to put. Uh, if is the bike is heavy, it's not easy to put here. So they have a ramp. Let me see how to open. Push down this, open this, and there's a one ramp. It comes, it comes with ramp, and just do it. And you're gonna put this wherever you want. Gonna, you know. Okay, that. Okay. So there's a straps, which is this straps for regular size tires. And I ordered and I got the new straps for the fat tires. Because maybe this can be enough, but just in case I got the longer version. So this will go like that. So before I do this, I want to show another thing. So these are here. Ah, so if I'm gonna put this that way, oh my gonna take care with this. That's the another thing. Because this is blocking here. Okay. You fold this like that. That.
maybe I need to take them off. But it's too much work. We will see. So also, when you want to open the trunk, trunk door, you're going to do this and the trunk will go up easily. With this, you have no space. So let me put the tire first. Okay. Uh, tire bike, sorry. <laughs> And there is another ramp, it's a little longer version, you know, if you are not happy with this. Okay. We'll go like that. After this, you're gonna figure out this one. So I'm not sure how to do. If you want to move them, you can take them out. So like that, okay. Okay, you got it. This is a little bit was difficult because it's a tick. We're just gonna again. Sorry, I for keep forgetting the lock. Okay, tight this. Tight, okay, lock it, strap, okay, show. Do this and get this tight. Okay, now out. So there is a arrow. What are we gonna do? So let's see. Hopefully, it's not gonna fall. So, with the bike on it, oh, you can see easy access to the trunk and put the ramp back. And this arrow should be go thing. It's very convenient. Like that, and this, and you can access to your trunk.
When you're done, just close it. And lock it. Hopefully, it's gonna stay there. So I guess I did something wrong because this didn't go through. Okay, let me open it. So basically, this is it. Uh, let me figure it out how to fold it back. I will back. So, this is not, if there is no bike, this is not going to fold towards the car. It's going to stay like that. You're just going to fold these sides up. That's it. Uh, that's little minus. It would be nice if this this would be go that it would be nice if this goes that side to fold it less space but it is what it is and this hitch fits the 1.25 inches and two inches with this part is two inches. If you have 1.25 inches hitch, you're gonna take this out, just unscrew the screws and use it. So it is what it is. Let me show. And this is free spinning and locked. So, the thing. And these are movable. You can pull this and just move around if you're gonna use from here. Uh, I couldn't find how to open this because you can take it out also. Probably need more strong to pull out and to take it out. And this is the part like that. This is reflector. Okay. To release. This is the, like that to push and hold here. Yes. Okay. The product. Let me take this down now and fold it back. So, first, let's get the ramp. And always, if you are going to carry one bike, put the bike close to the car side, not the outer. You need to put inner. If you are going to carry two bikes, heavy bike should be in the inside, not the outside. So let's get the ramp. Actually, I don't need ramp. I can take it. This is lightweight. Okay. Just gonna press this hatchet, hatchet, or whatever you call it, out. Back, okay. This back. Okay. Unlock. And take it down. So, and back. Hey, fold it, fold it, and that's it. So, what I am thinking when I have a bike on it, you know, I told you the bike is going to block the, because this goes like that, the bike gonna be here. If you need to put a light, I was thinking I bought this rear track lights from Amazon. I am planning to put this one here. 
you know, somehow installed, not to this, you know, uh, or maybe this one, it's gonna be two out. I will figure that somehow, you know, uh, I'm gonna do something about that to put lights here, you know, and I can use this because you can connect to towing things. So this is the product. If you have any questions, just leave the comment. If you have any comment, again, leave the comment. And if you like the video, just thumbs up. Thanks for watching. See you next time.